Now, this is an SHTF situation I would never want to find myself in. Anywhere near a wildlife officer, anywhere near dizzying heights, and anywhere near a cougar. Wait a second. Not that kind of cougar. Of course, at my age, that kind of cougar would have to be a saber-toothed cougar, if you know what I mean. <laughs> It's okay, bud. Oh, you poor buddy. Poor buddy. Yep, you're there. Boy, he's got a hell of a hold on it, man. He's like, I know what's going on. I'm not letting this go. Oh, that's a good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, no. That a boy. Good boy. Oh, well done, Ty. That a boy. Good boy. Oh, well done, Ty. Good girl. All right, we got you, sweetheart. You are free. Seven yeah, can you, what's your name? Carlos. Carlos, what do you yes. think of this? I think it's uh they were pushing me and I they say that I hit an officer. I didn't hit an officer. Were you? They were pushing. You what? know what I mean? They were pushing me. I'm a legal observer. What's your name and name and date of birth? Uh, we're gonna send a target to you right now. Hey, Has this ever happened? No, it's never happened to me. You know what I mean? I was just covering things and Did you tell pushing. them you were the press? Yeah, I told them that I was the press. This one says I was hitting an officer. I was not hitting nobody. I guess there will be no peace in the Middle East, Middle Eastern United States, the Southern California, Washington, New York, anywhere there's a college, no peace. Police begin peacefully arresting student protesters at the University of Southern California Wednesday evening. What's going on here? Arrests, fall barricades, and encampments as college students nationwide protest Gaza. That's what's going on. Okay. All right. Wednesday evening, hours after police at a Texas university violently took dozens of demonstrators into custody in the latest clash between law enforcement and those protesting the Israel-Hamas war on campuses nationwide. Oh, okay. So they did it real, real tenderly there in Southern California because they were like freaked out how Texas did it. But you just saw how Texas did it. That was Austin. 
While tensions rose between police and student protesters at the University of Southern California earlier in the day, in the evening demonstrators started being detained without incident as helicopters buzzed overhead. Protesters had formed a circle with locked arms at the center of the campus in defiance of an early warning that they would be arrested in Los Angeles Police Department. Police and riot gear holding batons surrounded the group before arresting individuals one by one. While some universities struggling to defuse unrest have quickly turned to law enforcement, the arrests in California were in sharp contrast to the chaos ensued just hours earlier at the University of Texas in Austin. Okay, hundreds of local and state police, including some on horseback and holding batons, bulldozed into protesters. At one point, sending some tumbling into the street, officers pushed their way into the crowd to make at least 20 arrests. I would love to be able to show you guys all that, but thanks for being here anyways. A photographer covering the demonstration for Fox 7, Austin, was in the push and pull. That was the guy we just showed you. When officer yanked him backward to the ground, video shows... Uh, Station confirmed that the photographer was arrested. A longtime Texas journalist was knocked down in the mayhem and could be seen bleeding before police helped him to emergency medical staff. <laughs> oh, cops. They were, I'm going to help you. Serve and protect real quick. Uh, Dane Uriquart, a third-year Texas student, called the police presence and arrests an overreaction, adding that the protests would have stayed peaceful if the officers had not turned out in force. Because of all the arrests, I think a lot more demonstrations are going to happen. Ooh, okay. It's going to be the summer of bing, 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 or what are we going to call it? I guess it'll be the uh, spring offended, not the spring offenses. It'll be the spring offended. Police eft left hours after efforts to control the crowd, and about 300 demonstrators moved back in to sit on the grass and chant under the school's iconic clock tower. Oh, we know what happened. Oh, that's not that's not the same clock tower. <laughs> hey, try that in Texas. No, no, just kidding. Whoa, bad joke. North of the University of Southern California, students at California State Polytechnic University, Humboldt, were barricaded inside a building for the third day. Oh, great. <laughs> and the school shut down campus through the weekend and they made classes virtual. Okay. Well, obviously they're not learning too much, right? Am I right? Harvard University of Massachusetts had sought to stay ahead of the protest this week by limiting access to Harvard Yard and requiring permission for tents and tables. That didn't stop protesters from setting up a camp with 14 tents Wednesday following a rally at the university that they suspended undergraduate Palestine Solidarity Committee. Okay, all right, all right. We could go on, we could go on, we know what's going to happen. Ooh, you know what? Frankly, my darling, I don't give a damn. It's history. A 30-year-old man or woman isn't doing as well as his or her parents were at 30. That is the social compact breaking down. People aged 30 to 34, 60% of them in 1990 had one child. Now it's 27%. People are opting out of America. They're not optimistic about it. They're not having kids. Young people aren't having sex. They're not meeting. They're not mating. The pool of emotionally and economically viable men shrinks every day which lessens household formation. So we have a real issue. Young people are enraged. So it turns every cut, every movement into an opportunistic infection because quite frankly, they are just pissed off. Mm -hmm. They look up, they see wealth, exceptional wealth across my generation and people in certain industries, and they are really struggling. Their purchasing power is going down and the incumbents create artificial scarcity on campus. We take pride in rejecting 90% of our applicants. So the incumbents who already have a degree see their degree go up in value. We get very concerned with housing and traffic once we own a housing. Housing permits are, are sequestered from young people. Housing prices have gone from 290 to 420 in the last four years. So a young person, a house, Stocks that I don't own skyrocket in value. Let's have COVID relief and flush the markets and take assets way up because if a million people dying would be bad, it would be tragic if I got less wealthy. And I, we're doing it on their credit card. Young people have every reason to be enraged and every issue they see, they look up, they get angry and they see someone doing better than them. And then every day it is speedballed in their face that they are failing, that they are not doing as well as everyone around them. We have lost the script. Our kids are more anxious and more depressed and more obese and more addicted. And we have made a purposeful decision to let this happen by ensuring the people around this table stay wealthy at the cost of young people. Wow. 
I think our happiness index went down in America and maybe in the world. I wonder how close we are to that midnight clock too with the whole nuclear annihilation and all that stuff. Anyways, I guess we'll wait for the next biohazard or whatever we can report on tomorrow. No, just kidding. I'm having fun. Doesn't look like it, does it? No, I really am. My dog's right here. She's being sweet. Come here, sweetie. Come say hi. Come here, sweetie. You're going to make the show. Oh, you good dog. Oh, this is a good dog right here, you guys. You give your daddy a big old kiss right here. You big silly. Okay, you guys. Get down, dog. We're going to wrap it up. And uh, hope you have a great night. Thanks for hanging out. It's too late. All right. See you tomorrow.